Here we have multiplication of matrices. So just to reiterate, like with the two by two matrices, you do whatever order they want the multiplication in, you do have to, um, you do have to make sure that you put the first variable in front, the first matrices uh, dimensions in the front, and then the second matrices dimensions in the back. The two in the middle must match, the two on the ends tell you what your resulting matrix will look like. Okay, so I've got a matrix A and a matrix B here, and I'm gonna do both multiplications, A times B and B times A. And then I'll show you what, what you write when you put it, when you do these together. So for A times B, I'm going to write B um, dimensions. So there's three rows and two columns, so three by two. And for B, there's two rows and two columns, so it's two by two. The two dimensions on the inside do match, so this multiplication can be done, and the result is going to be a three by two. So when I go into Alex, I need to select the matrix that looks like this, so that it's a three columns and two, um, I'm sorry, three rows and two column matrix and then I just need to fill in all the blanks with all the entries. Now how do we perform that? Just like we did with the two by two. So you take always take the first guy's rows. So or I'm sorry, yes, the first guy's rows. So I'm gonna take the row one times this guy's first column. I get these things and then the computation turns out to be 28. Again, first row times the second column. Work out your computation. I end up with the result of 21. Take the second row times the first column. You've got that worked out here. Second row times the second column. We've got that worked out here. The third row times the first column. That's here. Third row times the second column. That's here. And depending on which row and which column you use to get the multiplication, that tells you the position of the response. Okay. So here I took the first row and the first column. So first row, first column is where that entry will go. First row, second column, first row, second column, so that's where that answer will go. Second row, first column, answer goes here. Second row, second column, answer goes there. Third row, first column, result goes here. Third row, second column, I said third row, second column, but third row, first column, result goes here. And then third row, second column, the result goes there. Now, what if they asked me to do it in reverse? What if Ask me to do B times A. Then I would have to put B dimensions first. So B is a two row by two column matrix. A is a three row by two column matrix. So I wrote that down. These do not match. And when they do not match, that means you cannot perform multiplication because there's not enough rows or columns in one of the particular matrices to get everything done. Okay. So that that they're, what you're going to select in Alex is the word undefined. So you won't be able to pick an answer as a matrix. It have to just pick the words undefined, um, and and that's going to be the result. Okay. If you if the two do match, then you will have a resulting matrix, and you can pick one of the matrices that you see all around. Okay? But that's it for this topic.